Hello again and welcome to another episode of Bullseye Camera Systems TV. Today we're going to be going over part two of our three-part series software tutorial for the Bullseye Target Manager software. Let's get everything set up and I'll take you through part two right now. So the first thing that we're going to go over basically is everything on the right side of the screen. We're going to start up here with Active Profile. We're going to select New. Profile Name, let's just go ahead and call it Bullseye Camera. And it says here, if you want to create a password to protect some of your information um, in according to some of the shots, you can put a password in uh, or you can choose not to. It's entirely up to you. Uh, shooter's name. And right here on shooter's marker color, I can actually choose what color I want my shots to be marked. So I'm going to go ahead and mark blue for uh, all of my shots to be marked blue. Go ahead and select OK. And up here, you can actually grab this scroll down box and there's the profile right there, Bullseye Camera. That's just the profile that we recently created. Okay, shooter's name shows up, Gary Williamson. Location, click here to select location. I'm going to go to edit. I'm going to go to add new. Location display name. Uh, we like to shoot at the Big K Guest Ranch, and that's located in Elkton, Oregon. Select OK. Click Close. Now, under Location, that little drop-down box shows up, Big K Guest Ranch. That's where I'm shooting. Now you can select Edit for the Firearms Field. Edit. Add New. And at this point, you can actually type in, you know, anything particular about the firearm that you want to include. Um, manufacturer, model, caliber, action, barrel length, twist rates, optics, fixed sights, and any notes about that specific firearm. Okay. Select OK. Close. And the same thing goes for ammunition. If you select the edit button on ammunition, click on add new. Uh, any particulars about your ammunition, you can certainly incorporate that information into your shots and your shooting session. I'm going to close out of that. Uh, active camera. Okay, Bullseye Cam 104103. This is actually the unit, the device ID um, for the camera that we're utilizing right now, so it shows up right here in this field. Okay, and we did go over active marking color in our previous, um, in part one of our software tutorial. So this is your wireless signal strength right here. It shows up as 100%, and every shooting situation is a little bit different, so you might actually see that uh, wireless signal strength vary depending on your specific shooting location. Uh, now I'm going to go over to shooting mode, shooting mode active. I'm going to go ahead and press, press the space bar like, you know, three or four times. As you can see down here, every time I hit the space bar, it showed a new image down below. Now, if, let's say uh, this group, uh, I was really happy with it and I wanted to make some notes or uh, flag it as a favorite. You can simply right click that and mark it as a favorite and it shows up uh, as flagged. You can right click it again and clear the favorite or you can right click it and add or edit a note if you wanted to you know three shot group at 800 yards so I've just described a note uh, about that specific target select OK you can also right click it and save image if you click on save image you can tell it where you want to save you want to save it to your desktop or documents or anything like that. It's going to be saved automatically as a JPEG image. That's a great way for uh, a custom rifle builder to just grab one specific target of one specific group and send it to a customer uh, e by email or print it out and put it in the box, however you want to do it. But that's how you save individual images. Okay? And just select Save um, if that's an image that you want to save. Now, also, you can select data overlay 
If you select data overlay after you've incorporated all of your information from your active profile uh, between shooter, location, firearm, ammunition, distance, the time and date, all of that information can actually be automatically overlaid onto your target itself. Now if you want that uh, data overlay box to go away, simply come down, click on data overlay again. Now, in part three, we're going to be going over profile, session, view, network, and help. Well, that concludes part two of our software tutorial. For more information on the Bullseye Camera system, feel free to visit our website at bullseyecamera.com. We'll see you next time. like too much. Give me one minute left. Sir, one minute. I don't want to. You ought to see my new one. I heard steel on that.